It's up to four o'clock in the morning, ready to talk about some power query, and then I'm gonna go to bed. This is what we're gonna talk about is a full anti-join. A lot of people ask about doing a full anti-join, but it is not one of the joins that's in the Power Query interface. What is a full anti-join? Basically, a left anti-join and a right anti-join appended. Let's say you had a class that met on Monday and on Wednesday, and you wanna know who went to either Monday or Wednesday, but not both. But one other thing we're gonna talk about today is the brand new X lookup. Not the one that you saw a couple of weeks ago, but one that came out a few hours ago. There's been a sixth piece added to the X lookup, and I'm gonna show that to you. Here's the data we're looking at. We have a barbershop. We've got two locations, the clock tower location and the near west location. We wanna know who has been to only clock tower or only near west. We don't care about, say, Amber. Amber's been to both. We want Abram because he's only been to near west. We want Bennett who's only been to clock tower. There are a bunch of ways to do a full anti-join. What you use depends on the result that you want. This is the result that we want right now. We want to know the location. So this is what we got to do. Here is our data and I've already got my queries. I've got my clock tower query and my near west query. My near west query, I've already added the location. So let's add the location to the clock tower. Double click it. Here we go. I'm going to add a column, custom column, call this location, and then double quotes, clock tower. Okay. Next, I'm going to append these two queries. Go to home, combine, append queries as new. My primary table will be clock tower and I'm gonna put near west underneath it. Okay, there's everybody and their locations. Next, an inner join. Combine, merge queries, merge query as new. I'm gonna do clock tower and near west. Match up client and client, inner join. Okay, let's call this my inner join. I don't need anything other than this first column. Go here, right click it, remove other columns. Do you have an idea what I'm about to do next? Watch. We're going to do another join. Combine. Merge queries as new. I've got my append one and then my inner join match up client and client now which join am i going to use the left anti join here we go left anti join okay i'm going to slide over there shouldn't be anything here right those are all nulls i do not need this column right click remove now i'm going to sort column sort this is the result that we're looking for close and load and it's going to load all those other queries that were made but this is the one we want i'm going to highlight this cut and then move it over to where we want to be now we see our list does not contain pascal because pascal is on both lists Good. Marcella, yes, she only went to the clock tower location. Beautiful. We have our full anti joint. But now the X lookup. Somebody says, ah, can you get these emails for me real fast? Okay, let's do an X lookup with that brand new sixth piece equals X lookup. Lookup value is Abram. Lookup array, the client. 
comma, return array, the email, comma, match mode, we want an exact match, I'm going to put zero, or we could leave that blank, comma, search first to last, yeah, go ahead and put a one, comma, now, if not found, double quotes, unlisted, double quote, close parentheses, enter, woo, got an email address for Abram. Bennett is unlisted because Bennett is not in our lookup data. And David is a zero because David is here, but David has no email address. Beautiful. Right. There you go. A full anti-join and brand new XLOOKUP. Hopefully you find this useful. And I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow morning.